awesome now. <laughs> I can't do the peace sign again. Sorry guys, I can't be bothered to do me hair. Is that it? Just the black coffee. I don't like black coffee. Hang on, let me think about my pose. Because in the last one, I'm like this. <laughs> Hey, hey guys. guys! So today we are going to do like a little sit down chatty video. I thought we'd do like a dancers Q&A and then I thought it would be fun. I was still <laughs> thinking a lot apparently. Because <laughs> I was thinking, I was thinking, I was thinking. So I got some of my friends and put it on my Instagram to ask us some questions just about life as a... Get off your phone! <laughs> life as a dancer, um, like what we do, all that kind of fun stuff. This is our hat because we're going to pull the questions out of a hat. But I thought this was very, um, what's the word? Appropriate. Appropriate fitting, because it says, of course I have an attitude, I'm a dancer. Do you want to pick out the first question? Go on then. Because she's the guest, even though she's in every video. Right. Question number one. Can you do the splits? Classic question. Classic question. When you tell someone you're a dancer and they just go, oh, so can you do the splits then? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can do the splits. Yeah. I'm a lefty. I'm a She's a righty. Not politically. Oh, yeah. We've also got top tips for flexibility. It's going to be painful. Mm. And if you're sat, think if you think you're stretching and it doesn't hurt, mm. you're not doing anything. Even if it's like painful but comfortable, you're yeah. not going far enough. Like you literally should be shaking. Yeah. And you should I only really sick. be able to hold it for like 30 seconds, yeah. really. I feel sick after I, if I'm Ooh. in a stretch and I'm properly doing it, I literally feel sick. Yeah, like in Chelsea's. Chelsea, Ooh, if you're watching. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I miss them we have to sit in box me. splits for about five minutes and I literally can't feel my legs after it. But then when you pop her loose, yeah. and my kicks out, Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Why are you trying to carry on? I don't know. <laughs> like joking. <laughs> What style of dance do you do and what is your favourite? Right. When we say everything, we mean everything. We mean everything bar like ballroom. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's like we've done a few ballroom classes. Shout out to Alicia. Tango Tone. Tango Tone, check them out. Like ballet, jazz, tap. We've not done tap for a while, no. but tap. Commercial. Contemporary, literally everything. That's what's good about our course. Yeah. Because you still, you don't like prioritise certain styles, you literally cover everything. Mm. Oh, and what's your favourite? Jazz. Ooh. Uh, see, I enjoy jazz. If we're learning a routine, my favourite is commercial, just yeah. because I enjoy yeah. learning them the most. But then if it's like a style, I uh, love ballet. Yeah, like we're little ballet bods. Can't really complain. Can't really complain about any of them, to be honest with you. Right, next question. Um, next. What are the different jobs a dancer can do? A lot. A lot. Adverts, TV, films. Tours. Tours, live shows, cruise ships, West End. Teachings, I feel like teaching yeah. is one everyone forgets. Yeah. There's a couple of girls in our course who don't want to perform and just want to mm. be a teacher just because that's what they yeah. enjoy. But they're is. still on like a practical dance course. Yeah. So, yeah. What question is this? Four. Four. Have you ever considered another career? That's a good one. You have to really, mm -hmm. but I don't have one. <laughs> no, I haven't considered another career as in I'd choose it over dance. No. A dance career, but you have to have backup options because it's such a, it's an industry where everything's just like unpredictable. Is that yeah. the word I'm looking like for? Like unguar not guaranteed, you're not always yeah. guaranteed to have a job. Most dancers have secondary jobs. Yeah. Either if they're a performer, they might have a job as a teacher. Uh -huh. And or they could just have like, like a bar job. Bar job, cafe job, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. So I'm training to be a stunt woman at the same time as being a dancer. Mm -hmm. So that's technically a second career yeah. I'm planning to go into. Definitely. That's the same with me though. Like I've just started my personal training course. Um, so that's like another option to do whilst you're looking for work. Why do dancers spend like £500 on a costume? It's irrelevant and you look like an idiot. Okay, we can we can discuss that. Basically. I mean, Fair. I've never spent £500 no. on a costume. I know people who have. Yeah. I, the most I've ever spent on a costume is £120 and that was for my ballet tutu. Yeah. And that's lasted me, what? Six, yeah. seven years plus. So, but most costumes are max fifty quid. Yeah, I've spent like sixty, seventy. Yeah. I think my Miss Dance costume was about yeah. seventy. Yeah, same. That, but that was like 
if any of you guys know yeah. Miss Dance, it's like bling, tastic. Yeah. And that was like custom made. Custom made, yeah. But it's like most of them are on like average, 40, you're like, 30. yeah, you're not looking any more than forty pound a costume. That's when people sell on costumes yeah. cheaper because they've already worn them and they don't need them anymore, so they just sell yeah. them down. And we don't look like idiots. Well, sometimes. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, I just saw that. Is mm. dance a sport? Is dance a sport? Yes. yes. Moving, on. <laughs> Moving on. Go on. Why do dancers look homeless? <laughs> you know what? We probably had a long day. We're probably tired, sleep deprived, and we yeah. just want to get home. So we're yeah. probably going to be in the comfiest clothes we yeah. own. Probably just because we do just walk around in joggers and big hoodies. You still look cute while being comfy. Absolutely. Why do dancers always inform people of how many hours they do? Because it's a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. Every person I've said to how many hours we do, I'm like, really? Yeah. That seems like too many. I'm like, yeah. 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 There was this, you remember when on Fridays we had ballet, mm -hmm. ballet would finish at nine and then we'd be in the next morning at nine o'clock. So we'd always yeah. say, see you in 12 hours. And bearing in mind, we were like kids. Like, yeah. I mean, now that wouldn't be, we've done worse than that yeah. at uni. I had a 12 hour day the other day. Yeah, but that was when we were like still trying to juggle school and like you were like 14. And then now, we, well, well I don't really think we complain about the hours now. No. It's I just mean, if people say like, oh, but you're just doing dance. And I'm like, uh huh. I have more hours than you do in one day than you have in a week. Yeah. Next question, eh? How do you fit everything around your schedule? What is your timetable and what sacrifices slash challenges do you face? To be honest, that, that, the answer to that question is that we don't do anything else. No. So they're the sacrifices, if that makes sense. Yeah. So like we don't go out. No. We don't socialise. Like the people we socialise with are the people at uni. Yeah. All we have to fit around is the stuff we have to do at home. Yeah. But, but for uni. So our normal routine would be, so wake up, go to uni, come back from uni, eat, shower, do any work we need to and go to bed. Literally. Maybe fit in a bit of time for TV. Yeah, depending on like what That's time we finish. It. Yeah. I think the challenging part is probably like being away from home. Yeah. Because obviously like most people move away from home for uni, but then they do have the chances to go home if they want. Whereas yeah. we very rarely get the chance. So when we do, yeah. we do go. And like at weekends, we both work at a nightclub. So yeah. we can't go home because we have to work. On the side Are you tired? <laughs> <laughs> Constantly. <laughs> Constantly. Like, what even is sleep? More physical tiredness and like yeah. emotional tiredness. Yeah. Rather than just being tired. Because you have to put so much into like class and even like mentally, yeah. you have to put so much into it to like keep your body moving. Because like yeah. you can be physically tired and you have to mentally push through that to get through the class. Yeah. And like work as hard as you can. Most common misconceptions about dancers. Starve ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> That's Boy, a lie. The amount of food I eat. Yeah. Woo! That we all are very narcissistic and self-focused. And stuck up. Yeah. And like, we just want to be the centre of attention. Yeah. That's not how you work in a group. No. That doesn't look good in a group performance. No. If everyone is trying to be the star. Yeah. Doesn't look good. Mm. Like if I go into a room full of people, I'm not going to go in and be like, oh my gosh, I'm a dancer. Nah, nah, nah. Let me start singing. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm a shy person. Oh, we've only got two more. How do you get a degree in dance? Just like you get a degree in history. Or, or English. Or science. French. So you do modules every semester, like you would at a normal university. You do like the history of dance. Yeah, there's stuff that we have to degree. learn about dance. Yeah, and there's still exams. Well, not exams, but like written work, essays. Like coursework. Coursework. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Extra skills you have learnt through dance, clearly not reading. Oh, that's a nice one to end on, actually. Mm. Determination. Respect. Respect is another. Discipline. Dis that's the one I was looking oh, for. Yeah. Discipline, Discipline is a big one. What else? Posture. I'd say I mean, that's awfully. awfully. Posture. Even just being like spatially aware. <laughs> spatially aware oh my goodness spatial awareness is honestly one of the most important things i feel like that wasn't all the questions it was they were empty all right then guys that was the last of the questions so mm. if i get any more we'll do a part two yeah but i hope that was somewhat informative mm. and yeah hopefully 
It was fun to watch. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.